Guys, like I used to spend 10 hours every single week making Instagram content. And now I spend about 30 minutes total a week and I get way better results. I'm gonna share with you guys the exact system that I'm using right now to never run out of content ideas, how to turn one piece of content into 20 plus posts content across multiple platforms and literally have AI do all of this for me, okay? This is crazy, all right? Just, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm about to share my screen and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. I'm gonna include SOPs and prompts that I've built that you can use with this software so you can use it in your own business and, and make content a lot easier, all right? So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys, so I am in Poppy right now. This is the software I'm gonna be covering today. This is my Poppy board. So as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm gonna go over this in the video and uh, how I'm gonna break this down is I'm gonna start by using the three ways that I'm using Poppy right now to streamline my content process. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna show you guys some of the features that you can use with it. All right, but before I do that, let me just talk about the general setup of this. And when you're using Poppy, you have boards. I like to have one big board rather than having boards for each of the types of content I create, right? I know some people like that. So like if I could go back to boards inside of here, there is like my board. So this is where I have all my projects and you can create, there's templates that are already in here for other people, for short form, for ads, for all the different things. All those boards can be, you can make copies of them. Some people, like I said, have like Instagram board, YouTube board. Like I like to have them all in one place so that I can just quickly drag and drop and connect different things. And the reason I like Poppy so much is it's kind of like, you know, ChatGPT and Claude and some of those builders are more two dimensional, right? You talk to it, it gives you output, talk to it, give you output, where with Poppy AI, you can connect things, right? Like I can connect videos like this video right here. This is a new YouTube video that I did. Uh, I posted last week and I can connect this video directly to a chat. And Poppy has the ability to analyze not just the transcript of what I'm saying, but what I'm actually doing in the video. So this becomes really, really powerful when we're starting to repurpose other people's content or steal their content ideas, which leads me to the first thing that I'm doing with Poppy is it's helping me come up with content ideas. And the way that I do this is you can essentially just steal your competitors' best pieces of content, or you can steal other, I'm gonna say steal, I'm not, you don't use their stuff word for word, but what you can do with this software, which makes it so valuable is, I can go through here. Let's say you're a health and fitness coach and you really like this video that, that I made on business content, but you want to be able to use the same framework, the same way that I put it, uh, the way that I said things, but then flip it into your offer. You can do that, all right? So the first thing I use a lot of Poppy for is for inspiration. And all I have to do, I just, I saw me that. That was just the easiest thing in the world. I just copied the URL and I just came over here and pushed control V. That's all that I did. And now when I add this to Poppy, this is now gonna pull that whole video up. And as this is loading, I'm gonna pull up a little chat window over here, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my chat and I'm using Claude. And then once this thing loads, I'm gonna ask it for the transcript. Can you please pull the full transcript from this video and give me any key insights on why this video did well, right? Now I'm going to push go and it's gonna pull the full exact transcript from it. Now there's no, as of right now, there's no other software that I know of that can pull the transcripts like this, okay? Which is huge for content research, huge, right? So it can pull it like it just did. It said, hey, this was an authentic delivery. It was direct. It, it set it, the visual elements, right? Like it had everything in here. And now all I need to do is just come over here and be like, awesome, I really love this video. Is there any way that we can repurpose this video for my business? I help women, over 50 lose weight while they're experiencing menopause, right? Can you help me repurpose this video into a new topic? Okay, keep the structure the same, similar tone, help me repurpose this and it'll do it. Okay, this is the coolest freaking part, right? I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but now it's gonna go through all of the stuff, right? It's gonna give the, the exact script word for word. And I think this is a, might be a longer video for me, but it even gives you video text overlays, like you, you can use in it. And it gives you pretty much everything that you need. See, so yeah, my, my script was a little bit on the longer side. But again, that's totally fine. It kind of breaks it through. Here's what that script would look like. And again, I would, I would still, you know, talk to it, make it tighter, but boom, there's a piece of content that's done like that. Okay, you can do this for Instagram and you can also do it for YouTube, okay? So for YouTube, let's see what my YouTube feed looks like. All right, I got my man, Brian Mankata. All right, he's uh, he's actually one of my, my personal coaches now. So I'll plug in his video, right? I can come back over to here, right? 
post a new video, it's gonna transcribe it, boom, already done. And then I can do the same thing here, right? I probably would start a new chat personally. Uh, and, and as you guys can kind of already see how I have this structured in mind is I have different chat windows for different projects. I don't know if you guys ever talk to ChatGPT and it gives you different answers when you have different chats. So I, if I have one long thread, it'll typically keep talking that same way. So I have one chat over here that's just for my YouTube emails. I've got one that's more storytelling emails. I've got one that's for direct offer ads, so like direct video scripts. Another one for, um, uh, these are like static images for ads. So I, I've essentially started these chats, right? This one over here is for Reels. And I've started these chats and they're all specific projects, all right? So uh, like I just did right now is I just connected this to another thing thread in here, like a new conversation. I, I wouldn't do that though. If I was really using the board, I would, I would have it be separate chats, right? So then from here, I could say, I help women lose weight and menopause. Can you help me repurpose this video thumbnail plus title plus, um, bot like content to land with my audience, right? This one's a little bit further away, right? This is like AI apocalypse and how that's going to, uh, how that's going to change, but then it's going to give me all these ideas, right? So this is so helpful when it comes to content inspiration and the people who don't do this already, I'm telling you, this is going to be the, the game changer for you is if you're not already spending time doing content research, this will make your creation process so much easier. All right. So there's still part of this whole process is still spending time finding other people's content and saving it as a bank. Okay. So again, the first way that I'm using Poppy AI right now is to come up with better content ideas using other people's stuff as inspiration. Now, for me to do this, I'm gonna jump over here because I think this is so important. Guys, just use your save folder on Instagram. Once a week, I go through Instagram. I have a little a little time carved out um, if, I, if, I, if I can't do it. And sometimes if I'm just in the gym, you know, and I see stuff throughout the week that I like, I just hit save, right? So this is just from the last week. I try not to let this thing get too full. And then I will go through here. And, and if I decide I wanna create that video, I will create that video. So what I could do is like, you know, I could just come over here. This is a, this is actually an ad that I, I liked how she, she drew it. I was like, I could totally do something like that, right? I can then come over here and then again, just drop that video in, right? And now I could start my creation process for that ad being like, hey, I really like the way this person did this. I wanna create this. Help me make this my own unique way. I don't want this to look like copy pasted. It needs to be unique and way better, right? So that is way number one that I'm using Poppy. Way number two that I'm using Poppy is to repurpose content and take one long form video and make it into everything, all right? Now, this is why my board honestly looks the way that it looks uh, and where I have like a bunch of stuff here and I have a bunch of different chats is because once my YouTube video, I make one YouTube video a week, it goes live, right? And this is where most of my time and energy goes into is making a really good YouTube video like this. Once this thing goes live, I have created, again, multiple different chats that have their own specialty focus, right? Let me just show this to you. Down here, I have my best Instagram or Twitter slash thread posts, as in multiple posts, right? Also, I turn these into carousels. I put my best ones I've ever written in here, best engagement, hundreds plus of likes, at least minimum. Some of these have close to a thousand likes, right? So I put all of these in here, right, as a group. And then the entire group can be analyzed in a chat, right? And then I can give it an SOP of how I wanna write a Twitter thread, right? Here's exactly how I want you to do it. And guys, you could have ChatGPT do this for you. If you guys are watching this video and you're still here, I do have this link in the description where I have three AI prompts. I think actually I might have more than three at this point, but I have a lot of the SOPs and prompts that you can do to repurpose the content, to make the reels, etc. So if you guys are still watching, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Click that link below and you can get all the prompts that I'm using in my board right now. But coming back to this, we've got like my best threads, right? And then I can just drop in the SOP, right? And then I can just move this video right down here, right? And then I can connect it to a chat, right? So I could say, you know, here's my best ones. And then I could go over here and connect this. And then I can connect this. And then from here, I can say, you know, if, it, if the SOP is already there, I'm gonna say, start, you know, go, right? Go, do the SOP that's attached, send. 
but you know you need to make sure you have a good solid SOP. But I've built all of that. So like this is where again, like I told you, it takes me 30 minutes a week to do content, like outside of the video that I'm, I'm making. This YouTube video is longer, but I spend most of the time preparing the YouTube video. Once YouTube video is done, I come in here, hook the YouTube video up, hook it to best content, hook it to an SOP, attach it to a chat. And as part of my SOP, what it says inside of here, let's see if I can give you an example. It might not say it in this one, but I'll, I'll ask it to find like, you know, five different topics for me to choose so that I can make carousels out of them from the video, right? So let's say that like this video itself has like my 10 best hooks I use for Facebook ads. There's gonna be one thread that just has all 10 in there. There's gonna be one thread or slash carousel that's gonna have the mistakes people make when they make hooks, right? And there's gonna be probably at least one has more social proof, et cetera. But GBT is doing all of that for me. And then again, I can use Claude, I can use whatever I want, but this is how I'm making a lot of different content really fast. I'm getting to the point where I haven't done this yet, but I'll probably hand this off to a VA and VA slash, they also have some API access, which I would love, but I think there's still some limitations to it. But if I could just say, hey, once the YouTube video is posted, then start this automation where it goes through, it talks to this chat, right? Then down here are my best just single tweets right? Single tweets, updated SOP. Then I would, once I was done with that, I just move this bad boy, you know, down here, disconnect here, and then connect this to this one, connect again, the master SOP, and then, you know, let it do its magic, right? I get my content pieces. I schedule them. Great. Next, I'm going to go into my reels one, right? Right over here. So then I just move this bad boy up here. I don't even have to move it really, but I move it up here. And I have an entire SOP on how to create good reels with hooks and scripts, right? And I can just plug this in here, ask for, you know, five topics to, to make content on, then plug in this entire uh, SOP, right? And I, guys, I got this SOP from the templates library. I didn't make it. All right, it's already in there. And then I say go, and then it makes me five reels, right? So in the matter of seconds, you know, minutes, let's say minutes, you still gotta edit it, right? But I've got, I've got carousels, I've got single tweet posts, I've got reels, and I also have emails, right? I've got an email builder over here. There's a short YouTube promotion email template I use. So I want, uh, you know, this YouTube video to, to send it out to my email list. Boom, that's made in seconds. And if I wanted to have more of a story-based email that was like, hey guys, let me tell you a story about how I, you know, the, the, my hooks, so I have some hooks. I, I can make that into a story-based email, educate with a soft CTA at the bottom to watch the rest of the video but this is how I'm getting content done fast and I'm super pumped about it, all right? So, uh, and the last thing, okay, last thing, step three, I kind of already mentioned it, but uh, number one, I'm using it to get inspiration from other people, turn it into my own. Number two, using it to repurpose, repurpose, this is the best repurposing tool I'm telling you out there. And then three is I'm using it to build a library of SOPs. And I, again, I've already mentioned this a little bit, but you can see how I have SOPs for a lot of things and they're just basic text files. And if you guys want mine, you can just come over to the link down in the description, mattcheverdcom forward slash poppy, and you can grab some of mine. I don't think I gave you all of them. If you guys want all of them, you guys can work with me directly, but uh, I gave you guys a lot you can get started with. But if you don't like those, that's fine. You can make your own SOPs. And all you have to do is just make a little text file, right? A little text file up here. And then you make your first thing, right? You can make it by talking to chat. Hey chat, I'm trying to make an SOP for this video. I wanna create five viral reels. Here's my reel structure. Here's my email structure. Here's my whatever structure. Just tell it what you want, make me an SOP. And then boom, it spits out an SOP. And then you just put that SOP into a text file. Then the next time you want to do that again, you just grab the text file, grab the new video, plug it into a chat and go. It is legit that simple, all right? As you can see, I'm jazzed up about this because this is gonna be a huge game changer. And I've got some people uh, in my space who are building com uh, complete backends off of this to where they're also creating like AI versions of themselves to talk to their clients, to answer messages. And they've done that by just linking up, like as you guys can see with the groups here, grouping all of their course curriculum and as unlisted YouTube videos, right? And they just like link them all in a group and that group is hooked up to a chatbot. So then like everyone knows your answer. Like this thing is gonna answer probably better than you do, right? Assuming your, your stuff is like up to date. But yeah, so I, I've been really loving the software. This is 400 bucks a month, or 400 bucks a year, I think right now. I will, uh, I'll happy to give you guys a share link for this one as well. We'll save 25 bucks.
I'll make sure this is in the description below as well. But I'm telling you right now, it's worth it. You get access to Claude, you get access to the Grok, all, all the pro versions that you would pay like you know, 20 bucks a month for, you're essentially getting it all for 30 bucks a month. But again, the ability to have these SOPs and plug and play makes the entire process so much faster. So highly encourage you guys checking this out. It's been a game changer. And uh, so what I got, again, I'll have in the link to the description, there will be the Poppy link to grab the templates. And then also there will be a link to just grab it and save some money if you guys do end up wanting to use this. All right, so that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Peace.